What's up coaches? You want to be simple and play fast? This is your channel. Today we're going to go over the run and shoot go concept. Total transparency. I do not run the run and shoot. As a matter of fact, I'm a newbie to the run and shoot. It's something I decided to just start studying. Kind of have been studying the air raid for a while. Uh, so I decided the first piece of the run and shoot that I would study is the go concept. So by all means, I am not an expert. And if you watch this video and you do run the run and shoot, please comment below and let me know uh, what you do. Because uh, I'm looking to learn all about the run and shoot. I'm, I'm ready to dive into it. So I'm going to go over the go concept the best way that I have understood it so far. I know the go concept is run from a 3 by one structure. So that's why we have a 3 by one drawn up. Okay. One of the biggest things I like about the run and shoot is it forces your guys to understand conceptual football. And what I mean by that is understand how coverages are built. And so understanding that means, first off, is it too high or is it one high? Is it middle of the field open or is it middle of the field closed? And look, I know we can get into different man coverages. I know we can get into different cloud coverages, different palms, match quarters, all kinds of different coverages, split field coverages. But for right now, for the simplicity in this video, we're going to talk about just deciphering in a one high what the coverage is and in a two high what the coverage is sticking to our umbrella of basic zone coverages. So we have two high shell drawn up. Keep that in mind. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's start up front with our pass protection. This video is not about pass protection, so I'm not going to go into the details of it. But if you are interested in how you can run some different pass protections, please comment below and let me know. So I would probably go with a half slide. Some people would go with a full slide. Um, so covered, your man on, covered, your man on, uncovered, you're going to start the slide away. I did, I did it. Started with the covered lineman on the right because our play side is on the right. Now, the only difference here would be I would have that back kind of press the perimeter, but he's going to read one to two, the inside out on the play side. All right, now, some people that I have seen, not some, a lot of the run and shoot guys have their quarterbacks half roll and set up there behind the guard. I'm um, not sure if I would do that if I did run the run and shoot, um, but that is what I've seen. So I already have this number one receiver on the backside drawn, drawn up, uh, running outside release. We're going to do the same thing on the play side. Number, run, number one is running the outside release. Okay. Number three is going to run one hard drive step inside and then very hard to the flat. We don't want to be any deeper than three yards there, okay? And our number two is going to be running the seam read, okay? And here's where I like the run and shoot. Post-snap, your routes are converted to make the defense wrong based upon their leverage. So this receiver is going to read that third-level defender's leverage on him. Um, Obviously, I've looked at some of the old school go concept stuff, um, but I think the biggest problem we run into sometimes is, as far as high school coaches are concerned, especially if you're a small town high school coach and your team, you got you don't have two platoon, you got to split practice, you don't have an abundance of time. Is what is too much and finding the simplest ways to teach things and. I was watching a Coach Caduti video uh, about how he teaches um, his receivers to convert routes, and I thought it was very simple and extremely applicable to high school football. And so that's what I have written up here. He basically tells his guys, if the defender's over top, we're going to stop. If the defender's even, we're leaving. If the defender's outside, we're going inside. All right, so basically if this safety is over top, we're going to stop. All right, run the dig. If the defender is even, we're leaving. We're going to press that seam fade. And if the defender gets too far on our outside shoulder, we're going to bang the post, which could be deadly there. All right, now, 
What's the quarterback's reads? We have to decipher who the flat defender is. Going back to the two high shell, we have cover two or we have cover four. How I would teach my guys to decipher cover two or cover four would be to look at the corner and how he's playing. Okay, If this corner's off the ball, uh, and most importantly, if he's allowing an outside release by the defender, okay, that's probably cover four. If this corner is playing closer to the ball, he's squatting on a lot of stuff, playing outside leverage and really forcing that number one receiver inside, you're probably looking at cover two. So let's look at cover four first. Okay? Cover four, our flat defender is going to be this apex backer here. So if this apex backer, if this flat defender drifts, 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 shows you, this is what I'm telling my quarterback, shows you his jersey numbers, we're going to immediately hit the flat. Okay? If this flat defender drives down hard on the flat, we're throwing the ball to number two. And again, beauty of this concept, beauty of the run and shoot, we're going to make that guy wrong. And, we're going to, and, and that receiver is going to be put in a window no matter what happens, right? So again... Let's say this flat defender drives down hard. Number two is either going to stop and run the dig if that safety gets back into his deep quarter and he's, he's capping the route. A little, little dub Maddox there for you. I like the R4 system using that lingo uncapped and capped. Um, I actually get into some R4 stuff in some future videos. So if he plays his deep quarter, we'll, we'll run the dig. If he kind of jumps down, We'll hit that seam fade because we're even and leaving. If we kind of drift too far on the outside shoulder, we'll throw that post for six. Okay, either way, we're going to get into the void of the defense. Now, let's look at it from cover two. All right, and again, you would teach where we're going with the football based on the coverage and who's the flat defender. In this case, cover two, there's our flat defender. All right. Our route by number three is dead. He's gonna squat on it, right? So we're either gonna we're gonna go number one to two in that situation. We're gonna try for the whole shot and put that safety in a bomb. So we'll go whole shot to seam read, okay? And that would be the conversion from cover two to cover four. All right, coaches. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Again, if you have another way you run this some suggestions for me because I'm looking to grow from this as well, please comment below. Be simple, play fast.